Will and Joan have been really a part of this campus most of the time that I've been here. They are an inspiration, not only to me, but to the rest of the board and to, uh, to, to the administration as well and the faculty. They are caring, interested, and important members of the team. And if it weren't for people like that, places like this really wouldn't exist. I'm really proud to know them both, and I'm particularly proud to be able to call them a friend. Will and Joan have always been active in helping Ursinus. I think now it is more intensified since they were able to sell their business, and philanthropy has become a bigger part of their life. So they are now taking the values and the beliefs, of, and I talk about the values of commitment, integrity, dedication, hard work. They are committed to education and committed to those that don't have the opportunity that many other people have. My dad's life growing up, I think was, I think it was difficult. He had lost his father at a very young age. He was a toddler when his father passed away. And I think that my grandmother thought it was best to send him to Girard College, which at the time was for children with who were fatherless or of a single parent. Uh, to get his education and be supported in the way that, that he could. I think Will has tried to give back to others um, for what he has received from others. It started at Girard College, and then when he came here, Richard Shellhays really changed his life. He was a mentor, he was someone who made him toe the line. He was a person who guided him at a very transformational time in his life. And I feel that he thinks it is his legacy to pay that forward. Will and Joan have had an incredible impact on the Ursinus College community, both philanthropically and personally. It's always about students with Will and Joan. He's created the Will Able Scholars in addition to the Bear to Bear Fund. That's going to be the most lasting impact because that will go on for generations, helping students receive the education that he did and that he believes they need to go into the future. But there are also little things, athletics, the Berman, the whole campus community, how it looks. He's a big curb appeal guy. So where there's a need, Will is willing and able to meet it. And he likes to leverage his gifts. And if he can get others to join him in any endeavor and it can match or double what he does, then he's really all in for that. One of the biggest things that he stresses and always goes on about is giving back and appreciating where you've come and how far you've come but also recognizing that a lot of people, events, and really things in life help get you there. And it's your responsibility to recognize that, but also start to give back, which is why he's been so involved in giving back to his sinus, uh, being involved in the wrestling program. He's, he's really touched a lot of different places that he's been involved in. I hope to at least measure up and really emulate that moving forward. Will served on the board, I think, a little longer than I have. Uh, so you get not just the historical perspective of how things operated in different ages and why things need to be different today, different approaches, different students. But you also get the benefit of his experience as a business person as we looked at things like branding to make the school rec more recognizable and uh, more well-known. Will is on the board, has been for a very long time, so he's very, very involved in thinking about the future of the college. Uh, Joan has been a strong supporter of Will's involvement in the college. Uh, he, I, I suspect that if he were walking down the path outside this building today, most people who pass him, whether it's students, staff, faculty, know who he is. More importantly, he knows everybody. He knows people by name. If I were to describe Will and Joan, I would say that they are generous, smart, involved, incredibly involved in all things Philadelphia, and very family-oriented and loyal to her sinus, to an extent that I think a college rarely sees. It's very meaningful for me as an adult now who went to, I went to a Quaker school growing up, a friend's school in South Jersey. Instilled in me in that school was always to give back and community service and service in general was extremely important. And then having my parents be part of that process is now and watching them be able to give back in this way is, has 
has helped me to grow as a person and understand the meaning of and the value of my continued philanthropy. Will understands the challenges that we're faced with at her sinus. He sees the future. He sees the opportunity that we have ahead of us, and he wants to capture that opportunity. And he wants to do whatever he can to help us get there. On the personal side, he wants to help that student. He wants to take it down to the student level. He wants to take it down to the, to the employee level, the faculty level, and do whatever he can to help everybody progress in life and accomplish their goals. If you're a person with values, with goals and objectives in your life, Will and Joan want to do whatever they can to help you.